putting together a home, piece by piece, within a warehouse. It may not sound like an easy task to some, but here in Scranton, Simplex Homes is a nationally recognized leader in modular construction. The company's been around coming up on 50 years, um, so as it has some longevity and it's a family-owned business, and, uh, and they've been a mainstay here in, in the northeastern Pennsylvania market, as well as the modular home industry uh, in the northeastern part of the country. Spanning from the construction of single homes to multi-million dollar homes and even two hotels, Charlie manages the people, training, and daily operations of the manufacturing. With a background of over 33 years in the field, he says the profession is worthwhile, with their end result lasting for generations. I tell the people on the planet for all the time, we're building homes, not just structures. And these are places that people will raise their families, people will retire in, people will go to school in, and you know, it goes on and on. So. But operating in a constant growing market can be challenging at times, competing with new designs and technological advancements. So Simplex Homes partnered up with a local college to keep up with the times. Johnson College partners with Simplex Homes by creating a curriculum for its employees. Through the classes, they work to expand their skills that molds to the company's needs. Johnson College fits hand in hand with Simplex because both organizations understand the future is in educating our workforce. And, and it's not just about having a college degree, but having true skills that can be applied immediately uh, when someone enters the workforce. Good students you know, that know a good work ethic end up being good employees. For Fox 56 Tech Talk, I'm Sydney Warwick. Tech Talk is brought to you by Johnson College. You can visit Johnson College campus anytime to meet instructors and explore their industry-driven lab spaces. The number 10 trade school in the nation, right here in Scranton, Johnson College.